has anything gone wrong? You know, I mentioned I've been involved in so many drug developments. I think yes, in the sense that some of those drugs I really passionately believed in, unfortunately, for whatever reason, whether it was a, a toxicological issue, whether the market size uh, was was not uh, big enough for the pharmaceutical company, um, they they've been the disappointments. It takes me back to uh, propofol and propofol diprovan was a compound that uh, was um, we were told at the time would only make uh, 500 million yet that particular drug now as over the years has been so beneficial in many many aspects of life so um, as far as the drugs uh, that haven't made it, that I've been involved with, I think that has to be a disappointment in the sense that perhaps uh, the uh, toxicological issues um, when looked at uh, uh, aggressively, uh, that the clinical efficacy of the compound, we failed to show any clinical signs. Uh, I think. These are the disappointments, but that's what drug research is all about. Basically, you have to test the hypothesis. You have to f f uh, provide the data to allow you to take the compound to the next stage. So data is extremely important, and when you don't have that data to convince senior management that this compound is worth spending millions of dollars on, uh, then I, I think that's the disappointment. Uh, how, where and how you can access this data uh, and provide that carrot for senior management to take the compound to the next step. That's one of the disappointments uh, through my history in drug development is not being able to provide that either preclinical or clinical data which basically gives the company sufficient uh, drive to move that compound forward to the next stage of development.